Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have taken one grammar and then constructed the LR0 items and then LR0 parsing table and I have taken a string which can be derived from the grammar and for that string how the LR0 parser will work and construct the parsing tree. I hope you have watched the entire video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about two conflicts which are possible in LR0 parser. Okay, so the two conflicts are SR conflict and RR conflict. Okay, let me discuss them. We have two types of conflicts. One is SR conflict and another one is RR conflict. What is meant by SR conflict is, it is shift, S stands for shift, R stands for reduce, so SR is shift reduce conflict, whereas RR is for, R stands for reduce and another R stands for reduce, so you have reduce, reduce conflict. So we have two types of conflicts in LR0 items okay now whenever we are discussing about the LR parser the LR parser are broadly classified into four types one is LR0 SLR1 and LALR1 and then you have the CLR1 okay now yes LR0 and SLR1 to construct these parsing tables we need the LR0 items. Am I right or wrong? Similarly, if you need to construct the LLR1 parsing table and CLR1 parsing table, we need the LR1 items. So, as we are discussing about the LR0 items, I want to discuss what is the possibility of shift reduce conflict and RR conflicts in the LR0 items. When I will discuss about the LR1 items, these two conflicts I will discuss with respect to the LR1 items. So, in this video, I will discuss about SR and RR conflict with respect to the LR0 items. Now, what is meant by item? We have written, in the last video, we have written I0, I1, I2 are those items. Am I right or wrong? Let me discuss the SR conflict. I have shift reduce conflict. How it is possible is that let's take that A determines you have a B dot B. Okay. And you have the some B determines some A dot or something is there. Okay. A dot is there. This is your item. Now this one I can call it as a SR conflict. Why it is that this is a shift operation and this is a reduce operation. So we can say that it is an SR conflict is there. How it is I will discuss with an example. This example only I will continue. If you look at it this is let's take that this is I0. I0 on B go to if I perform I will get A determines B dot B. Am I right? A determines B, B dot I will get. And this is already reduced. I no need to perform anything. So when this one, let me write it as I1. Let me construct the table of the LR0 parser. Now you will have the item I0 and you will, I will discuss only the action part. In action part, let's take that we have A, we have B and then we will take the extra one dollar. Will you agree with me? Uh, is it clear? In, in this case, I have only two terminals. So, the, in the action part, we will have the terminals and we will have extra dollar. Now, I naught on B, what we will write? I naught on B, you will went to I1. So, here you will write S1. Am I right or wrong? From I naught on B, you reach to the I1 where B is a terminal. So, we will write into the action part as S1. Now I naught is having the reduced move. B determines A dot is there. Let's take that this production number is R2. 
in the grammar you have a production called b determines a which is a production number 2 so what i will write here it is a reduced move if it is a reduced move in lr 1 0 sorry lr 0 parsing table what we will write this reduced move we will write it in the entire action part meaning is that in all the terminals we will write here you have r2 r2 is it clear is it clear are you able to understand now when i was discussing about the ll1 parsing table or predictive parsing what i said at any location you should not have more than one entry am i right or wrong if you have more than one entry what i said the given grammar cannot be parsed using ll1 parser am i right similarly whenever you are constructing the parsing table of lr0 parser if you have more than one entry am i right in the action part is it clear in the action part you will have shift and reduce operation if you look at here i not on b you have a shift and also you have a reduce so if it is a multiple items are there you don't know whether you need to perform the shift operation or you want to perform the reduce operation there is a non-deterministic is there am i right or wrong so then the parser will be in confusion whether it should perform the shift operation or it should perform the reduce operation there is no clear thing in this case it is performing that reduce here it is reduce but here it is consists of shift and reduce so that's why we will call it as shift reduce conflict is it clear are you able to understand this is the one example of shift reduce conflict in the lr0 parsing table is it clear now whenever you are constructing the lr0 items any item if it is having the sr conflict then you can stop the process and you need not to construct that parsing table also you can stop here and you can say that the given grammar cannot be parsed using lr0 parser is it clear for you now let me discuss about the rr conflict okay let's take that in some item i0 you have the productions as a determines a a dot b determines b dot in some item i0 is there now what is this one this is a reduce move this is also a reduce move then what you will do in the parsing table you will have the item i0 and you will have the action part consists of a and b and dollar let's take that for this grammar only two terminals are there a and b okay for the given grammar i have got this item and i have a and b are the terminals and the extra dollar i will write it in the action part in action part will consist of only the terminals now look at this one you have a like s yes, determines a b a determines a is there b determines b is there is it clear are you able to understand in this case this production i will call it as production number two this one i will call it as production number three this one as a production number one am i right or wrong now what i will do as it is a reduced move so i need to check what is this production production number two so i have to write the reduce operation in all the terminals in the action part am i right or wrong and similarly you have a reduced move in i naught which is r3 so you need to write the r3 in the all the terminals in the action part now if you look at it you have the multiple entry here multiple entry here multiple entry here what is this entry consists of reduce reduce so this is a conflict if you get these kind of conflicts you can say that the given grammar is it clear this grammar is not a problem in the last video we have taken i'm just telling the example if this ex scenario comes then i can say that the given grammar cannot be parsed using lr0 parser 
Is it clear? I hope you have understood what is SR conflict, what is RR conflict, when those situations will occur, what we should do. If you still have any doubts related to this SR conflict and RR conflict, don't worry. In the next video, I will take one example and I will discuss it clearly. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.